right, Revelation chapter 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark on, upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. All right, so this will take a little more study here. So I'll get into a little more detail. And I saw thrones. All right, so it's important to understand that we are kings of God. All right, because we are kings, we have thrones. All right, so we can go to Exodus 19 and really establish when this began. Right, in verse 6, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And we can go to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, and see that we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. All right, again, in Revelation 1, we are kings and priests unto God, and of course we are called to preach the gospel to every creature. All right, so in verse 4, when it says, And I saw thrones, it's talking about kings, and it's talking about us that are born of the Spirit of God. They that sat upon them is talking about us that are born of the Spirit of God. And judgment was given unto them. All right, so judgment has already been given unto us. And I'll point to the verse that I, that I already pointed to in John chapter 11 verse 26 whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die All right the judgment has already been given to us and that judgment is everlasting life when we are born of the Spirit of God we shall never die okay so the judgment has already been made for us we are kings of God right now All right, and I saw the souls of them, of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. I feel we got one example already in the Bible, and that's when John was beheaded. All right, so if you are not born of the Spirit of God, then of course you're going to look at the beast, which is the world, as your savior. <laughs> It's ridiculous, but that's that's what happens when people are not saved. They trust the experts, the scholars, the people on TV, Dan Rather, Peter Jennings. They trust the politicians. I mean, you see it every day in your life. People are trusting what they see on TV. They're trusting the government. That's why they they see on TV, oh no, you're in danger, you got to go see a doctor, and what do they do? They go to a doctor, because the doctor will save their life. They're looking for government or the beast of the world to save them, and the world will never be able to save them. Okay, so that's why in their thoughts and in their deeds, they do what they do and think what they think, because they put their trust in the world and the world will pass away all right so those of us that are born of the Spirit of God we don't worship the world we don't look to the world to save us because we have a Savior and that is the Lord Jesus Christ and so right now we live and reign with Christ right now and again I'll ask how can you rightly say that you are saved if Jesus Christ is not reigning in your life right now.